Hey everybody, Scoutcraft here again. I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I was uh, cleaning up. Saw some screwdrivers. We all like screwdrivers, right? Well, I got some ratcheting screwdrivers. I don't think maybe uh, you've never seen them before. Let's check them out. Now, if you're like me, you have a drawer full of screwdrivers, all different shapes and sizes, but a lot of them you have hanging up. Now, that before I get to my shop, I have this little area here, just a piece of pegboard with tools that'll just about do any job you can imagine. Here I have some of the screwdrivers I use all the time. Um, I got these as a gift a long time ago. These screwdrivers here, this is the worst possible handle that you can imagine. The grip on here is just so uncomfortable. It looks like, because of a doorknob type, it looks like that would be comfortable to use, but these are horrible. Um, these are actually my favorite here. These screwdrivers, these are made in China somewhere, but they're chrome vanadium. They got, uh, these tips are like iron. They wear fantastic. Um, the grip on here is absolutely fun. It's, it's unbelievable. You can get such torque on here. So these are my favorite. Full shank. You could tap on the back. You could see. Whoever designed these screwdrivers did a really good job. And then, you know, I have uh, just a lot of different sets here. Uh, different types of screwdrivers. But what we're going to talk about today is ratcheting screwdrivers. Now, these are some of my ratcheting screwdrivers. Uh, you remember these old type. Uh, these are my great-grandfathers, but I have a ton of these. Um, we have different types here, and we're going to demonstrate how they work. And some of these, maybe you've never seen. Okay, first off, you remember these old push-type screwdrivers. I'll show you how these Now, work. these old antique push drivers, how they worked was there was a detent here. You turn this, that would spring out like that. And how this works is as you push it in, it drives the screw. Uh, they would use these a lot for window installation. You can see by pushing in like this, it works good. It will drive the screw in. The problem is if that if it slips off the screw, you could damage your work. But uh, they do have their place, and you don't see these used too much anymore. Next up, we have regular standard uh, ratcheting screwdrivers. And what makes these different is the, uh, the amount of the gearing... You could hear this is a snap-on very smooth but i never like the square handle on here i prefer a uh, a handle more like this that's uh, oblong or better gripping for me this is rubberized too very nice handle um this here is a channel lock this is really nice because of the grip it has it's uh textured has these little dimples on there this pulls out like that for your extra bits and has a, a, a fine tooth that you have a, a very good. So this is a really good screwdriver, a channel lock ratcheting. Um, here's another type of a snap-on. And this type here has a grip that you can get a, a really good uh, purchase on and a lot of pressure. Uh, Craftsman made a similar uh, a type of a, a novelty screwdriver like that where uh, it doesn't have the quite the fine teeth, but what it does have is you can turn you can bend the handle down to get a really good gripping now have. with this craftsman as you could see you can turn it like this if it gets too tight you can bend the handle like this and give you a tremendous amount more torque just by uh by just the nature of the way the handle bends down now next up what we have is something uh, pretty interesting called a skew driver s-k-e-w driver uh this is a uh an offset ratcheting screwdriver and what's interesting about this is it's very smooth the way it operates and it, it, you have a, a, a quite a few options. You can hook this up to a drill, use it that way. Again, there's an offset on there, uh, not quite 45 degrees. Uh, it has extensions, has a whole bunch of bits. And let me show you how this works. Now, if you were in a tight area and you had to get in here, what's nice is you can put pressure right behind the head and give yourself some extra uh, torque onto the screw. And it, it operates just the same thing, right to tight, left to righty tighty, lefty loosey. So it's a, it's transmitted exactly the same down here. And how it works, again, you push it down here and you could screw in your screw this way. And uh, it's a nice design. Uh, I, I'm surprised you don't see too many of these around anymore. These are sold as kits a while ago, but... This is uh, called the skew driver. Now, last I brought up this uh, screwdriver here. This one here is made by Cobalt, but they a lot of different manufacturers made these. And uh, you're going to see what kind of sorcery is this. Let me show you how this works. If you hold this little ring here and turn this screw, watch what happens to the, the screw back there. You could see for every time I turn it forward or backward, it, it advances the screw which is really interesting. So just by turning back and forth, it keeps it rotating in one direction, whether it be forward or reverse. 
So that's pretty interesting. And here's where you put your extra bits going here. Let me show you how. Now, first, I want to demonstrate how uh, this with a regular, regular ratcheting screwdriver, how it would work. You see, you turn it and it would turn it in just like that. And let me show you how it works with the cobalt. Okay, now with the cobalt, again, we're going to engage the uh, screw. We're going to grip this ring and watch as I turn either way, watch what happens to the screw. So that's pretty interesting how that Here's works. another view once again on how that would work. Gripping the ring, turning it both ways, it turns it into the, the work. So maybe you've seen something you haven't seen before as far as ratcheting screwdrivers go. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Take care. Have a nice day.